Oh my goodness. This is what went wrong. <coughs> boom, boom, boom. What is going on guys? You boy Ellis now. As promised from the last video when I done the little unboxing of all the parts that I've bought. Today I'm going to be attempting to install two of those um, aftermarket parts which is the black wing mirror cover and also the dynamic um, turn signal LED. So like a retrofit of the, the LED because with these LEDs they just flash dynamic ones from the Audi obviously um, I mean a few other companies decided to incorporate it in their car designs but I think Audi was the first one I've actually seen with it like a sweeping effect pretty sure you've seen it on the, the newer facelift, facelift stuff it's probably even an optional extra probably like for a grand or something so we're going to be retrofitting that because this car as I said does not come standard with it so I'm actually really looking forward to see what this is going to look like um, the black is just to like break up the car a bit I mean it's just why even though this is the black edition there's only a few black accents around the car compared like to separate it from separated from like a standard non-black edition car we're going to be removing that putting the dynamic turn signals in and i'm going to be showing you in, in as much detail as possible on this side and then for the other side i'm just going to try and go for as quickly as possible to not take up too much time so let's go watch some tutorials on youtube and figure out how to do this because obviously i don't know how to so i've got my handy youtube tutorial right there i've got the black cover that's going to be replacing the white one obviously for a good start making sure it's like something similar so obviously you line them up you can see that they are somewhat similar i mean on the inside you also see all the the, the latches and bolts and where stuff go so when you're about to like undo this one you can use this one like as a rough um guide or a measurement to know what screws need to come out how many screws need to come out so i think you can count like one two three four in there so make sure like one two three four comes out um there's a latch there a latch there a latch down there so obviously making sure you know you're not breaking anything or any, everything lines up or you know where the tension points are and all that stuff that's a good um indication to just like help you out the first thing that i need to do with this is take the glass off obviously i gotta be careful because it's like a heated glass as well so if this is damaged then it's like however much from Audi so I can't put too much pressure on it but um, I'm gonna put the camera down and give this a go because I don't want to break anything by trying to rush and be stupid we then remove the motor we've got this long screw that was in the center of it um, right in the middle right there so I was to remove that it's got like two latches at the top so you can see like right in there and right there so be careful you can see them try and push them and get them out then we've got to remove this connector right there so i'm going to remove this connector I take this off and then i have access to all the other screws and get that off okay so now we have the motor out that's the wire disconnected from and now we're going to get to the screws around as i was showing you before with the screws in there you kind of just put that there with the screws in here you kind of have an idea of where everything's going to be so let's get this all out and get the that's the the turn signal the lighting right there we're gonna move that put in the new housing and blah 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 and oh let's do this what i'm going to do is while i'm removing this bolt here i'm just gonna put it into the same side of the new one so that's on the far right side um if i come over here oh what side is it though is it the top or bottom but is that that's yeah that's the bottom side up here is gonna be top so far left bottom far left bottom right there let's just put this in there just to hold it for a bit so i know where all the screws goes so while i'm removing this i realized that one of the screws are missing so we've got two screws up here one's meant to be here it's not there there's one there and we've got two torque is it torque torque bolts down here one there and one there so i need to remove those four and i put them into um the cover the blank cover so as I said, just like um, screw management, so I know where everything goes. So this is like the bottom side, let's get this one out. So the reason I just got a bit confused is that obviously this is not connected to the wide part itself. This is like the separate black bit down here. So um, there's one there, one there, that takes the black bit off. And then um, those screws at the top are connected to the door cover itself. So yeah, just in case someone decides to do this themselves. This is actually, oh no, not my screws. My screw management was going perfect. So you go up there with, that goes on there. These two go in that one, torque screws. That's the long one for the motor. Bang, back on point. This is one of the most difficult parts so far. Try not to break this. It's so difficult to try and get this off. It's, it's like super hard. The mirror I think was probably first because obviously the mirror is very, very delicate compared to the plastic. 
but this is an important bit I've managed to get it off now and we can lift and remove and get this DLR out right you can see the light right there and yeah let's do that so this is the current turn signal it just came out I was going to show you how to remove it but yeah that's the current turn signal that's in there um, as I said this is dynamic so actually what would be a sick test is let's turn the indicators on quickly I think that still work regardless if the car's off or not there we go um, so yeah these are the dynamic ones I bought off eBay, I put all the links below but let's attach this one and see how it goes that's it innit? Mm -hmm. yep that's the right side now let's get this connection out I don't really care if this one breaks actually because I'm not really going to use it again it's like a lift and pull motion, there you go, lift and pull so I lift it with a screw and then I pulled it with a hand try not to do it too much now for the new ones that clips right in and now for the moment of truth bro if this works it's gonna be so sick <laughs> oh my goodness that looks sick that looks dope that actually looks dope now let's take this plastic off obviously bam damn retrofitted bros oh you know what let's turn this off we need to get this black one on as well so we're gonna line everything up and i'll get the video to show you what's going on Okay, so literally the only thing left is to put the motor back in, put the screws back in, put the mirror back in and that's it. But let's just show you a quick test. So it's all smooth and symmetry. And yeah. Yeah, everything's all good. A problem that I came across, I'll show you quickly. So this issue actually made the job take a lot longer than it should. So if you look at this right here, you can see like a little bulge, but on the normal one, that bulge isn't there. So I put them side by side and you can see, yeah, they are two different like sides, one's left, one's right, but you can see the bulge there. This one, there's no bulge. That little bulge alone caused a massive issue. What I did was I literally just got this tool don't know what it is and I just uh, just took it off try and get it as smooth as possible you can't even see it So I'll let that, the hazards on, I've left the hazards on so you guys can see the differences. So if you look over there, you can see how bright that actually is, like you can actually genuinely see it. Like, and you just look sick. Look over here, you generally can't see anything. Now you're going to say probably that side is darker and whatnot, but you can't really tell unless you really come close. You can see how, it just looks out, it just looks like it's due for an update. Let's just get that side finished and then we'll just see how it all looks together. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling a bit away about it. I don't know if it actually works really well. Like I'll be honest with you, I don't know if it, if it actually works really well, but maybe once I've got the other side on, then I'll be able to see it much better. But I think it probably needs a bit more black like the roof and, and whatever else, but let's just see what it looks like. I am so chuffed with the way that, I'm chuffed that I managed to do it. I'm really actually like so, I'm not gonna say it was easy, it was a bit challenging at certain bits, especially to take the glass off. 
and actually just to put it back on and make sure everything's like like lined up and symmetric and all that it was a bit difficult but i managed to do it so i'm super super chuffed with myself um but obviously you know when i do something something always goes wrong and this is what went wrong yeah so apart from the mirrors that need a clean because my fingers have been all over them my fingers have been all over them i did accidentally break the first glass because um obviously it was the first that was the first attempt doing it and i put a bit too much pressure you can see the second one's fine because obviously i learned from a mistake and that one actually felt a bit better than this one to be fair for some odd that one this one felt really flimsy and that one felt a bit more solid so yeah I'd, i'm gonna blame it for being flimsy and old so yeah that needs replacing um hopefully not too much i'm gonna buy one get one from audi hopefully it's not too much i know how to i don't really care about this one out now it's broken i can just start like, rip it off because if it breaks a bit more put the new one on stop waffling that's done but that's the only mistake i made super chuffed let me know what you guys think about the way it looks i mean just to break the car up a bit as i said um there's still a bit a bit more to be done regarding like black accents and gloss black accents and all that but so far i'm making progress super happy about that let me stop waffling thank you guys so much for the support massively appreciate it love you guys loads get this video to 500 likes i really really appreciate it and yeah let me know if you're gonna try this for your your a4 or a3 or whatever car you have i mean not just the, the change in the color of the mirror caps also with the dynamic leds the dynamic turn signals i can that those just look so good it looks so full as well because as you see with, the, with if you can see if you can go back to the clip you can see that the ones before was like really dull you could hardly see them in the daytime whereas this you can it really like it's so bright I, hope, I don't know what the what the wear and tear is like i mean they might it'd be super annoying if it didn't last that long i didn't really think about that actually but as i said i put all the links below to everything i bought and you guys can check it out stop waffling now alkeem and say goodbye goodbye <laughs>